There goes the boxcar, and into a tree. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are back in Beam and G. So yeah guys, let's get into the video. Alright, so let's get moving, but today we've got something special to look at. We have looked at this before, we've been on this map before, but it's been a while, so... Let's go ahead and head to that area. Now, you may remember it, this is the train map, and we just destroyed our bumper there. But, we're just gonna go ahead and drive onto the train tracks. So there we go. Here comes the locomotive, we've got our car in the tracks, and boom, there it goes. Not a very fast impact. So, there's a few things I want to try out today in this episode, and we're gonna be taking this truck here, and we're gonna be driving it onto the tracks. And we're going to see what the train does to it, especially the dump truck part of it. So let's drive into the tracks here. Whoa, holy cow. This is going to be an interesting train crash because our truck is facing directly towards the front of the locomotive. So here we go. This is it. This is the impact between the truck and the train. There we go. Not too much damage to the truck, it looks like. The engine block is... Uh, it's pretty much solid, so it's uh, it's just being a buffer there right now. Ah, yes, a combine harvester. Let's put this on the tracks. Actually, I've never tried this before, so this is going to be really interesting. Probably going to want to drive it down this ramp here and then onto the tracks. Oh, God. Bounces a lot. Just going to put it right... Right there, if that looks good. Just gotta drag it a little more over here. Perfect. Beautiful placement. Alright, we got a brand new beam rail locomotive, and we are heading straight for the combine harvester. This is going to be very destructive, I'd imagine. So here we go. And bam. Wow. Let's just pause it right here. Let's take a look at the damage to the locomotive. So, if we look at the railing, you can see well, the um, the brake wheel has completely fallen off. But the railings have been screwed up a little bit, and there's a bit of... Oh, no, everything down here is fine. Yeah, it's just the railings, it looks like. And, uh, whatever this is. Uh, if someone in the comments could let me know what that is, that would be awesome. And, um, if we come over here, we see the combine harvester which isn't looking too great. You can see that the cab is just completely mangled. The impact point, which was right here, is just a huge dent. All right, so you may laugh, but this rock might be able to derail the train. It is pretty heavy. This thing could crush a car just by slowly sitting on it. And that combine harvester probably wouldn't be a match to this if it dropped even a foot. So, um, yeah, let's try out the locomotive versus this rock. Here we go, we've got the locomotive heading straight for the rock. What will it do? That is the saddest thing I have ever seen in my entire life. All right, so we already know that this car is going to be destroyed. But, um, I really just want to see what's going to happen here, so let's go ahead and get the train and just kind of destroy this vehicle. Here comes the locomotive. It is about to impact the vehicle. And boom! It, yep, it's gone. There is nothing left of, uh, the car there. It's on fire. It is, it is very on fire right now. There it is. You can see it there just burning. Alright, the sports car is definitely a lot different since we last saw it. I mean, look at the windshield. It's huge. Um, wow, okay, the, uh, yeah, the vehicle is very dead at this point. I'm gonna try to, there we go, kind of pops off there. I mean, clearly the engine is fine. Oh, is this, is this the wing? I think there's, that, that's a piece of the car there. I think that's the wing. All right, here's something that's a little more fitting for the rails. A boxcar, which is quickly going down the hill. So let's catch up to it with our locomotive. There's the boxcar there. Here we go. We're about to impact and boom. 
Okay, the boxcar is really wobbling around there. We're going to hit it again. Nope, it is off the side of the rail, rolling down the side of the track there. Oh, it's gone. Oh, we got the back of it kind of stuck to us. There goes the boxcar and into a tree. Now it was bound to happen. We definitely have to check out what happens when you hit a train with a train. Because, well, you know, maybe the universe will implode. We'll find out, so let's go. All right, so here is locomotive 5726. And uh, unbeknownst to it, another locomotive is heading down the track. And here we go. This is the moment. Boom! Holy cow. That uh, locomotive on the track that is now banana-shaped is uh, no longer going to be in service. Uh, as you can see, it is... Um, it is completely, completely ruined. Surprisingly, the front of the Eastern Pacific locomotive is fine, actually. You can see that it's, uh, it's definitely screwed up a little bit, but it's still fine. I mean, the locomotive can still run, although it is arched downwards here, so it'd probably have to be scrapped. And, uh, don't get me started with this locomotive. The CA Rail, it's, uh, it's definitely done for. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this one, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time guys, goodbye! <laughs>